A tēnā tātou, ki a koutou katoa ka kaui a hau te whakaaro me te aroha o te whanui o Ngaitahu. On behalf of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority, the Christchurch City Council, the Minister, Ministry for Culture and Heritage, and Te Runango Ngaitahu, I warmly welcome you. I would particularly like to acknowledge and welcome friends and family of the bereaved and those who were injured. Our warm welcome also to members of the emergency services and representatives of those international communities so greatly affected by the earthquakes. A welcome also to those media who will be conveying this announcement to the wider community. Thank you all for joining with us to hear this announcement and to mark yet another step on our pathway to healing. I met many of you in July last year when we gathered to look at the site chosen for the earthquake memorial. The Otakaro, the Avon River, is a beautiful river. It is a taonga, a treasure for our people, and I remember thinking a year ago that it would inspire some amazing design ideas, which of course it did so. I applaud the evaluation panel for undertaking so diligently and professionally the task of assessing all the hundreds of design ideas. I did not envy them their task of selecting just six ideas to go through to the second assessment stage, and then the task of selecting just one, which must have been a particularly difficult role. However, given the expertise of those on the evaluation panel, I always felt that their final recommendation would be sound, and that they have done a good job, as you will shortly see. As I said at the time that the site was selected, being close to water is good for the spirit. It helps us to remember our loved ones and reflect on our own ability to deal with trauma and come through hard times. Nā reira, ki rei waina te waka whakamaui e tō kihi whakamua, hoi atu, hoi atu he haumanu. Let us launch the waka of our recovery forward, each paddle moving us closer to a reawakening. Kia ora. Some days it's harder to keep the tears uh, away and, and thank you to St Michael's School for making that even harder um, and for St Mark to, for opening today. Um, I'd like to invite uh, Minister Brownlee to come up and announce the design that is selected for the Canterbury Earthquake Memorial. Minister. Uh, well, thank you, Rob. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my ministerial colleague, uh, Nicky Wagner. Can I first acknowledge uh, members of the families who suffered losses uh, in that uh, terrible earthquake uh, and thank you for being here today. I think in a small city like Christ Christchurch we all know someone who, uh, who lost their life. But today is, I think, uh, an important day because we move from, uh, I suppose, carrying that memory uh, you know, in, in the various individual uh, circumstances that each family will have to coming to a point where we can as a wider community recognise the extent of that loss uh, and uh, have a place to go to recall not only uh, the tragedy of that loss but also um, the whole circumstances 
that have changed our city so much. And uh, it will be a place for remembering and for memory uh, for many generations to come. Whenever you choose a new place for a public monument, there's bound to be a degree of difference among people about whether it's the appropriate place or not. I think the success uh, of uh, the choice of location uh, has been that there's been very little pushback from anyone about where it is because when you go there you can see what a, a quiet place it is. As Sir Mark has uh, so rightly pointed out, you can hear the running water and you feel a, a sort of a, a, an interesting connection to the world that we all live in. Going that step further to decide exactly what sort of memorial should be there is an even harder process. And I want to thank uh, the Honourable Nikki Wagner for leading that process. I want to thank uh, Sir Mark Solomon for being uh, part of that process and for going through the somewhat torturous exercise of having to choose from uh, the, the splendid design ideas that were put in front of them. But in the end, you choose one uh, that's going to be uh, the most suitable and is going to be, uh, I suppose, most complementary to that uh, lovely site, uh, but also be a place that is a bit of a standout uh, as far as these sort of uh, remembering places are in our city. So it's my uh, great pleasure to announce that the winner of the design competition has been uh, Gregor uh, Verziak uh, from Slovenia. Uh, Gregor has uh, answered the call that went out internationally to look at uh, what we might do here to recognise uh, our loss uh, and our um, life-changing event for this city uh, and we thank him for doing that and congratulate him very much on reaching this stage. In a moment he's going to tell you a little bit more about his design. Uh, what I can say is that uh, once you choose a design it's really just another step in the process to getting the memorial itself in place. There's a huge amount of work still to be done to uh, give effect to the design by way of a build. Uh, and I look forward to the next step in this process being the dedication of this uh, memorial uh, in the not too distant future. So could I conclude by thanking everyone who's been involved, um, Sarah, Christchurch City Council, Naitahu, uh, and particularly the families of those who lost their lives uh, and allowing us to get to this uh, very, very important point today. Thank you. So I'd like to introduce you to Gregor, the designer of the design that has been selected for the Canterbury Earthquake Memorial. So uh, Gregor's from Slovenia and I'll ask him to, to say a few words in a second, but first of all I'd like to tell you a little bit about the design. Um, I want you to imagine that it is a journey, a journey which starts on Oxford Terrace by the Montreal Street intersection and that you drop down some steps or some ramps down to a low place beside the river and you walk along the memorial wall alongside the river, a 150 metre long curving walk. Alongside you are the names and the acknowledgements of those who we lost, those who were so brave in helping those who were hurt and of course those who are hurt and those who are injured, and indeed all of us that we have experienced uh, uh, through the earthquakes. You will then be able to walk over a new bridge to the north side of the river where we'll create a small intimate space, particularly for the families who lost people in the earthquake, to go there and remember and to, to look back across the memorial wall. It is, we believe, a beautiful acknowledgement of everything that we have been through. The, um, what I like to do is ask, is ask Gregor about the, the, the things that he sees that need, um, with the families, further work to further develop the design. Because with memorials like this, the, 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 the beauty is in the detail and the acknowledgement is in the detail. So Gregor, um, perhaps if you could talk about um, the ideas that you might have around the North Bank for, uh, for the families area. Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to 
introduce myself at first. Pozdravljali. Hvala za prisrčen sprejem. Moje ime je Grega Vezjak in prihajam iz Slovenije. Kje ora? Hello. I want to thank you all for the very warm reception, very great welcome. Uh, I'm an architect in Slovenia, and uh, I'm really looking forward to building this memorial. Uh, so, we're, I want to thank uh, the SERA organization for uh, really is helping, is doing a great job and helping me with a, a design for further development. I've been meeting a lot of people uh, and seeing the Christchurch. Uh, I've met uh, some of the family members of the, uh, in families that lost their loved ones and uh, seriously injured people. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, talking with them in the future and working together for the uh, for the detailed design and for the development of this project. Thank you. Thank you. So there are uh, a number of areas that we're going to keep working with the families over for the next number of months, including uh, how the names are presented, how the um, how the family area on the north bank uh, can be designed, uh, and the selection of trees and so on as we get further into the detail of the memorial. So this is this another step in a, in a long conversation that we're having. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to say at this stage, but what I, in closing what I would like to do is, is particularly thank and acknowledge the five unsuccessful designers. Uh, they, they put their heart and soul into uh, their idea about how to uh, remember everything we've been through um, and uh, and we thank them for all the effort that they went into. So I'd like to thank the evaluation panel as well for their hard work and the 2,800 uh, people that submitted their, their comments and so on. So that's, um, it's been um, a long and rigorous process to find the design and the designer that will, that will do this for us. Um, so uh, for the media here today, um, please work with Monique to, um, for any interviews that you may wish to do. Um, and I'd like to close by saying thank you very much for coming and we look forward to uh, a lot more conversations as we work through both the detailed design and then the construction of, of our memorial. Thank you. <laughs>